Well, greetings one and all, and welcome back to another video here with your host, Andrew. Apologies for the content not going out on the usual Saturday. However, I was at Wimborne History Festival and I'll overlay a couple of pictures just so you can see what I was getting up to yesterday. Wonderful. Okay, so what we are going to be doing today is having a look at a really quite a beautiful pen. And that is from the company of Nakaya. Now, I have reviewed Nakaya's in the past, but this one is different in that it features maquillé on the actual cap and on the barrel. And we've also got a soft fine nib, so I feel it warrants having another video. So without further ado, let's unbox this and I shall see you after. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, so in a moment, we're gonna head over to the table and um, where we'll do a closer look at the pen. But before we do that, I just want to say a massive thank you to Catherine over at Sakura Fountain Pen Gallery. Your gift wrapping skills are just phenomenal, absolutely phenomenal. And the whole sort of process of unwrapping and unboxing the pen, it's just something very, very special, especially when you buy something such as a Nakaya. And I feel she really does go the extra mile in terms of presenting the package. And even though, it is cheaper to buy in a car direct from Japan. Having the support of a fantastic um, shop like uh, Sakura Fountain Pen Gallery based in Europe, it's certainly a lot easier to send packages back to. And also you're supporting an independent business. So thank you, Catherine. And I hope I did justice to your, uh, <laughs> with your wrapping, with my unwrapping. <laughs> so. Please join me over at the table without further ado, and we'll go over the pen itself. Right, ladies and gentlemen, before we get on to the pen itself, I did get a few other goodies, which came from Catherine. And one of those was this Savi Midori uh, from Tasha, which is basically a yukuri, yukuri, I think that's how you pronounce it, yukuri. Uh, it's just essentially woodblock printing ink. Now it's not actually woodblock printing ink, it's just inks which are inspired by the actual woodblock prints themselves. So you get the beautiful, beautiful yukuri, um, sorry if I'm buttering this, you get like the inspiration for uh, the paintings and these are all famous paintings which can be found probably in museums in Japan. And then it shows where it's made. Fantastic. And Let's move on to the next thing, which I got. <clears throat> we got a whole load of KWZ and Robert Oster samples. So let's just put those out and you can see what we got. We've got quite a lot of shimmer inks. Uh, so we got some 
Robert Oster Shin and Shimmy. Uh, so we've got like a blue moon, we've got a rose gilt tie night. Uh, we've got, uh, what else we did? We get fizzy lime. That sounds very exciting, doesn't it? Oh, very summery. And we've got one more somewhere. Ah, there we go. Uh, we've got cranberry as well. And then we've got um, some Robert Oster, not Robert Oster. We always said that. We've got some KWZ inks. We've got berry. We've got old gold, which I'm really excited to try. Uh, we've got grey plum, which sounds very nice. And uh, we've got Baltic memories. So a lot easier to pronounce than some of the Japanese inks. So that was all very welcomed. And those will be swatched in due course. Might do a video on that. And those are going to be predominantly used, especially the KWC Old Gold, for an upcoming painting which I'm doing for Catherine at the Kura Fountain Pen Gallery. Right, now on to the contents for the pen. Okay, so this is where things start to get a little bit more exciting. Oh, it should be worth noting, you also get from Catherine some 52 GSM Tomoe River as a sample. So you can try out your new pen if you don't have any really nice fountain pen paper. Very, very thoughtful. Okay, so in here, what we get is a care and instruction guide, which is this one here. Shows you how to fill up your pen, how to care for it. And I won't go into all that now because to be honest, um, it's pretty standard for most Arushi pens, but basically don't keep your pen in sunlight and don't use abrasives on it. Don't try and post your pen and so on and so forth. We also get an invoice, which I won't show you. Very standard affair. We get a nice thank you card. Very nice. So thank you, Catherine, for that. And we also get what I think is really awesome and what is maybe Nakaya's main strength, and that is a customization um, form. So I will read this out to you. We are grateful that you will be one of Nakaya pen owners. Now, it's worth noting that Nakaya is a Japanese company and they try their best in terms of um, producing English uh, letters, but it's not the best written letter in the world. It's just, it's not their first language, so that's perfectly fine. Anyway, Nakaya pens are unique and each one is carefully customized according to the chart, indicating the owner's writing characteristics. Basically, the pen nib has been adjusted to a standard level which will provide a smooth writing experience for most people. In the case that you provide your own chart beforehand, your pen nib was already adjusted to your writing characteristics. If you would like to customize or recustomize your pen nib, please fill in the chart enclosed and send it with your pen to the address below. It will take a month to adjust. It would be appreciated if sending a notice mail to us before shipping your pen and chart. The adjustment will be free, but will take, oh sorry, but please take on the shipping cost. We hope you will enjoy your one. Well, sorry, we hope you will enjoy wonderful writing experience with your Nakai pen. I think a, a your in there would be quite good. I know it might be a bit uh, facetious to correct them on their English, but it's yeah, <laughs> it doesn't make for good reading um, out loud. Anyway, it's really really thoughtful that they actually provide this, and you know what. It's not their first language, so I can forgive him for that. Anyway, you do get um, a customization guide, and this is available on their website. It really is an absolute joy to actually go through, and it's the only company that I know which has any level of sort of mass production, even though you know they are done in quite small quantities, that really offers this level of customization. So you can change things like uh, the nibs, it shows what your extra charge would be. So if you wanna go for elastic stub music, uh, if you want to have a different nib color, so you can have pink gold, rhodium, ruthenium, or two-tone. And you can also have an extra um, charge for the clip, if you've got a clip on your pen. And so, yeah, there's all sorts of things you can do. And then it goes on to your writing pressure, grip height, and then your writing speed, letter size, about your letters, 
angle, rotation, and dominant hand. And then it goes uh, a little bit of an indication down at the bottom of what uh, your sort of positions would be according to them. So you even asked for your gender and age. So it's really very highly customizable. Okay, now let's go on to the box contents. Now you have seen this in the unboxing already, but <clears throat> this really is just a beautiful, beautiful experience to undertake. Now, interestingly, I am gonna be mentioning this again in my Namiki video, because I think it's a really interesting fact. The Polina boxes, which um, we have here, have got historically a lot of significance in uh, Japan. These boxes um, are made from the Polina tree and the Polina tree on a daughter's birth are planted traditionally. I don't know whether this still happens today so I can't comment on this. And then upon her marriage the tree is chopped down and then it's made into a dresser or various other boxes or pieces of furniture. And I think that is just such a beautiful tradition. Some people refer to this as the princess tree. So that's just something a little bit different. Now on here we've got, I believe, the Nakaya Pen Company and um, Special Pen. So that's what the kanji, I believe, uh, translates to. Now I did do a unboxing of one of these before, but for those which are new to the channel and haven't seen that video, something which you get from Sakura Fountain Pen Gallery um, straight off is a nice little polishing cloth. And then on the inside, we get a nice little pen kimono or pen sleeve. We get a converter and then we get some ink cartridges. So that's what you get. Now, as much as I love the Nakaya pen wraps, they are very beautiful. The one which I got from Yuri is what um, I feel is gonna be a better protection for the pen. Don't, don't threat, don't threat. You know, it will protect your pen. But this one is more cushioned, which I got from Yuri, and I feel it uh, matches the aesthetics for the pen. So let's move on to the pen next. Right, ladies and gentlemen, before we move on to giving the overview, I will put in the dimensions for you right now. Superb. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, so we've got two techniques on here. On the moon, we have got, oh, Talking of cats, our neighbour's cat has just come out. <laughs> oh, that would be wonderful to have our... Oh, it's waiting to come in. Oh, bless it. <laughs> I wish I could have captured that. That was so... That would have been so serendipitous. <laughs> okay, so... Sorry about that. I got a little bit distracted. So we've got two techniques on here. We've got um, Tami Sukashi, which is used for the moon. And then we've got Yeko. Uh, Makie for the actual cats and the paws underneath which I'll show, show you in a bit. Essentially the first technique which I mentioned is it's going to make that moon much brighter and um, down the road so absolutely gorgeous and then we've got this slightly raised technique down on the bottom and as you run your finger across it you can definitely feel a little bit of raised um, effect going on there and it's just such an, a lovely tactile pen to hold. Now, obviously this isn't gonna be in the same level of Namiki in terms of the complexities, but it's completely different. When we look at Nakaya, Nakaya really do offer a number of different techniques. Now that's not to say that they offer more than Namiki. I think they offer a similar amount, but they certainly have got um, Makie techniques and different effects on their pens, which you just don't see on Namikis, which really does set them apart. Now, people will often say that uh, Namiki are the king when it comes to Makie, and I would probably agree. Now, I have got a Namiki coming up for review, but I love how charming this is. It is perfectly executed. You can make sure, or you can make out it is a cat, both the small one and the large one, although the small one sort of looks more like a mouse if I had to be hypercritical. Um, but it's just such a fun little pen. And as I turn it, you get a really sort of good sense of impression of hopefully that texture in the pen. 
and likewise the beautiful iridescence on the moon itself. It's it's going to come alive, that moon, down the road, and I look forward to it. In the background, uh, we have got almost like a Tamanuri effect going on, and it's just absolutely fantastic. It's got slight nuances when you get towards the actual edges. Even though it's not overly accentuated, you can definitely tell that there has been some level of polishing. Uh, maybe not as pronounced as some of the um, techniques like Akatamanuri, um, but it is just absolutely fantastic and it's really nicely, subtly done. Okay, so the pen in general, we have got conical tops, both on the top and the bottom, which is very much akin to that of the Piccolo cigar range, or the cigar Piccolo range, whichever way you want to say it. And we have got this really lovely deep red. Now, another thing worth noting is you can actually contact Nakaya and get pens customized. So if you wanted this on, say, Midori Tamanuri, which I probably wouldn't recommend because you wouldn't really see the cats then, you can. Uh, you could have it on Heki Tamanuri if you wanted, and then maybe it would show up even more. So that just gives you an idea. The cats, or well, cat and drawing the moon, is available on Long Cigar as well. And if you go to Pens in Asia or uh, any of the other Asian shops, sometimes they carry exclusives. Uh, like Nibs.com, for example, they've got the Nakai, uh, which is basically like a longer version of this, which goes another few millimeters outwards, maybe to about that. So you, you can get these designs put onto different term shaped pens. If you wanted it on a dorsal fin too, for example, you could do it. And they will entertain even your own custom designs. So I really wanted to highlight that now before I forget. Okay, underneath the cap, we are presented with a 14 karat gold soft fine nib on a plastic feed. And then we have got that beautiful maquillé on the actual section as well, which features the paw prints, which I think is just absolutely charming. It's a really nice, comfortable section to hold. Um, even though the threads are there, they're really nicely polished and they're quite smooth. So you would never feel that you're getting any fatigue. I would still suggest that if you've got larger hands, maybe a Nakai or uh, some of the other models may be better, but I have no problems with writing with this pen and I don't think the majority of people will, only for those which have got particularly large hands. Fortunately, the diameter of the section is very, very comfortable and it does allow for a nice grip on the pen itself. Talking of balance, it's perfect, absolutely perfect. Being made out of ebonite and with this tapering up, there's definitely um, a, more of a balance around about roughly just onto the section step down. So that is worth noting. Underneath, we have got the usual platinum affair, which is where these nibs are produced. And we also get a platinum converter as well. If you so wish, you can get a maquillé clip. And if I ever end up getting the goldfish, uh, which is another pen which I've been looking at, I, might, my, I may well just treat myself to getting a goldfish maquillé actual converter, which would be beautiful. These just push in. And we've also got some metal threading on here as well, which is basically the standard affair for platinum. Okay. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go over to doing a writing and a drawing sample. Now, as I say, the drawing sample won't be complete today, but it will give you an understanding of how I go about some of my artwork, which you may have seen on Instagram. So let's move on to the writing sample. And after that, we'll do a size comparison and then I'll give you my final thoughts and feelings. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, so what we have here today is some Midori paper. So let's write out the name of the pen. Nakaya enjoying the moon cap, which is what I'm going to shorten this to today.
Wonderful. Okay, let's move that up a little bit. We've also got some ink in here, which is dye my Nox blood. Fantastic. Okay, now being a soft fine nib, we can do some nice uh, sort of expressive uh, lettering. So what we're going to do now is I'm just going to write out the old famous the quick brown fox. And then we'll do some in print. And I have to say, I absolutely love this nib. It really is absolutely splendid. And as you can see, we can get some expression out of the nib as well. Now, I am doing this standing up so that I can give you the best possible position. And also trying to write around a tripod isn't the easiest thing. So apologies for the handwriting not being necessarily uh, the best in the world. Anyway, just have a look at this because this is really what I love about this pen. You can get such nice expression out of this nib. It's really, truly beautiful. And this will just keep on for days. You know, it's not over the top. It's not going to be like a vintage flex, but it does give you a really lovely, soft writing experience. So you can go from like this, almost like extra, extra fine Western standard to like a firing point to a good medium broad. And I think that really is just absolutely fantastic. So let's just write out the test. And there we go. And as you can see, we get a lot of expression out of this. Now, in terms of reverse writing, you're going to see that um, in the actual drawing sample, but I will show you nonetheless. And you can get reverse with it. Very nice indeed, and it's quite smooth. So you can get like even almost like a triple extra fine, which is I think like an XXF um, in Japanese standards. So yeah, really, really impressive in terms of flow for the pen. It's really good. It's really, really, really good. So let's just do two passes. Very wet, really, I, I would say for a Japanese pen. Um, I mean, obviously, you know, you can go up to like a broad nib and have an even better experience, but I think most people are going to find that um, absolutely fantastic. So there we go, ladies and gentlemen. So let's uh, now join me over in the drawing sample and then I'll give you my final thoughts and feelings. Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, what we have here is a pencil sketch of what is going to be uh, one of my next pieces of artwork. Cats in Japan are very, very um, highly sought after, not only just because they're very cute, but they also have historical uh, references as well. Now, before we actually go into drawing, there was a tale of a feudal lord in Japan where he was standing underneath a tree and then a cat beckoned him away from the tree, lightning struck and essentially saved the feudal lord. So ever since then, cats have been revered in Japan for being um, of good fortune. So this is basically my sort of version 
Um, we've got no feudal lord in here, but we have got some lightning, we've got uh, the moon, and we've got various um, flowers and trees in the background. So join me in watching and sitting back and relaxing uh, for this next section. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, from left to right, we have got the Nakaya Piccolo Cigar, and that's the Enjoying the Moon Cat. Then we've got um, what is going to be coming up next week, and I'll just give you a quick sneak peek at that. There we go, so that's coming next week. And that one is the Namiki Yukari Herb Decoration. Then we've got a Wet n Wise Comfort Tamanuri Studios collaboration. Then we've got an Iboya Hecabone, and that one is finished by Hiroko, aka Bokumondo. So let's just get these uncapped quickly, so you can see how they actually compare to each other. Wonderful. Okay, and as you can see, the let's just get those a little bit straighter. There we go. The actual Nakaya is the shortest out of the lot, um, by I'd say about five or six millimeters. Having said that, the section is probably the thickest out of the lot, um, possibly most comparably to the actual 
Wet and Wise Comfort, both have got a fairly similar grip, although I would actually say that the actual grip section is marginally thicker on the Nakaya, with the Namiki being the slimmest and the Iboya being just a bit um, thinner than that of the Wet and Wise Comfort. But all very gorgeous pens, and to be honest, I, I find writing with that perfectly comfortable. So that just gives you a quick comparison. Um, interestingly, I will be doing a bit more of an in-depth review between these two pens down the line, but the Namiki is quite a bit uh, more slender than I was actually imagining. Um, but it's still a very nice pen nonetheless. So let's get these recapped and then I'll go on to give you my final thoughts. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I just want to say a massive thank you to the community so far because with your continued support and certainly in purchasing artwork, you've managed to help me afford this pen here. So I have to say a massive thank you to everyone. I'm not going to go into specific names because I want to try and keep the length of this video down, but I think you know who you are. <laughs> anyway, um, let's just talk about uh, the actual pen itself because this is what you're here to see. Who's it for to start with? Someone who wants to get into getting a little bit of maquillage but can't quite afford to go into some of the, the deeper realms of say like the thousand pound plus. This is a really good starting point. You get two beautiful little cats, you get the moon and you get the paw prints on the section. So you're getting quite a lot for your money, I feel. And considering the time which goes into actually creating these products, I think it's money certainly well spent and a really perfect introduction into Makie. Now, of course, you have got Namiki and they can come in at a fairly similar price. Having said that, they are more slender and if you already don't like small pens, then the Yukari line might not necessarily be for you. This does have a slightly bigger section on here, and it is certainly far more uh, comfy than my Yukari. Now, the Yukari isn't a bad pen, I love it to bits, but that was one of my first uh, things which I noticed on that pen. Whereas with this one, it is a little bit more comfy for me. Now, obviously there are a number of pens which Nakaya do, and hopefully soon I am going to uh, meet up with Jade and I'll very kindly, I'll, I'll ask her very kindly, I should say, uh, to let me video um, one of her new pens which are coming up um, and hopefully she'll say yes because it is beautiful. I think it's chrysanthemums um, if memory serves. So looking forward to that. Okay, is there anything bad about the pen? For me, no, of course there isn't because, you know, I bought the pen um, and I bought the pen certainly knowing what the size was going to be like, what um, the finish is going to be um, like and having seen um, Catherine's pen uh, or Kat's pen I should say from the Bent Tynes fame, it's beautiful, absolutely fantastic and I I'm really really glad I went for this and I think this is going to make for a really good fun um, comparison video um, in a few weeks time. So there is a lot to love about it. Again, you know, there's, of course, the 14 karat gold nib. And it just writes superb. So if you enjoyed today's content, please do consider giving it a thumbs up. Again, leave a comment and tell me what you like about the pen. Um, tell me if there's some maquillage which you're after, what would you go for? I would be really interested to know. Um, and that really leaves it for today. So thank you for tuning in and I shall see you for another special video next week. Till then, stay safe and goodbye for now. Bye.